Hey, welcome back to the Michigan State Wells. There's me getting the drone up. We are looking at a the Great Lakes Central, and it'll be the Travis City turn. They'll be coming from Williamson, Michigan, and today they'll be doing the Travis City one. While we were just heading over to Travis City, looking for the Great Lakes. Here we are, getting near um, Williamson. Um, there it was, going back towards Travis City. Now this is our first spot. This is just outside of Travis City. But we got more to go. Besides, it would go only like 10 miles per hour, so that would be a good time. Good chasing speed. This is good, good um, shot with the drone. This shot was very good. I'm really happy that I decided to do this spot. Even though, though, we were just by seconds. Like, not even like, like we were here just for a minute and then comes the train. So, so the train wasn't that far behind us at all. Well, we got stopped by Red light, so that's quite why. The tripod did shake on this one. There has been some times that it'll shake, but this time it's very smooth. So now you guys are gonna get very smooth quality. Since 2022 of April, I've been getting smoother and smoother quality videos. And there's me just going away, facing them again, but get to go into a new spot. This is somewhat decent <laughs> shot that I got of the next spot. Now we're at the next spot. I don't know what road we are on, but it's pretty darn good. I decided to choose this spot because, well, the road that we were paralleling on, on well, there was a load that we turned white on. Well, it led back to the tracks. So, we decided to get this one. But, it was pretty good. So, let's get it. The train is very easy to chase. They're only doing like 10 to 5 miles per hour. And town is only 35 to 40. So that's a pretty easy, easy chase. But before they do some switching, this will be two last spots before they do doing switching. But I got many more to go for spots for the Travis City one. The Travis City one runs only once a week, but this routing is kind of cool because this routing has the old station that is now a restaurant, so it's pretty cool. Let's get this Great Lake Central at this last spot before doing some switching at the old station, but now restaurant.
Right now, they're doing some switching. And this is a good spot that I choose. Even though our train got ahead of us, we would still get some pictures and videos of them doing switching. Even though this is a good switching operation here. They're moving around like they are right now. They're going back and forth. But it will take them like at least an hour just to do some switching around this junction. Now they're going forward and it's going to be a little bit because they would end up stopping. Turn off all their lights off and doing whatever because 396 is ending up shut down because well that unit is not going to lead anymore. And the 395 is going to lead now on. The crews are just getting it turned on and getting ready to go. So in meanwhile, they're not doing much switching. But less than an hour, they're probably going to be ready to go. Here we are, getting them really close to the restaurant. Well, I w shouldn't have been getting too close. I really should have gone to the crossing. But, it's alright. Maybe next time I'll do that when another train, or another time that the Great Lakes will go up to Travis City, Michigan. But, in the meanwhile, they're doing some switching. So yeah, it's just going to be a little bit. No. 
They're done switching. Alright, now it's been like at least an hour. And somebody showed up, not just us. We're not alone. And some other people joined us getting the Great Lake Central as well. I got the drone up because I haven't shot the Great Lake Central with the tunnels yet. And I really do need to get them. And the drone was ending up being really, really good. Here's the footage of the drone. I'm still working on it, but that looks pretty good. Should have went to the other side of the tunnel to get them going under bypassing them, but alright, this is what type of shot that I got ending up for them. This is basically the last time I would see the Great Lake Central, but had a really good fun chase with this one, even though we caught it like east of Trevor City for the first spot, and now we're at the last spot, just south of Trevor City, like maybe like 10 miles, maybe, but this is the last time I'll see the Trevor City one, but I will see the clear one on Monday, which is three days from now, but until next time, I'll see y'all in McBay, Michigan, where we start the Claire one, and while well, we chase the CSTN, but this is the CNTN right now, see you next time, I'll see you in McBay, while catching the CSTN. We're in McBay, Michigan, while the Great Lakes Central CSTN is doing some switching around McBay work area, and I thought I would get blown up for a second, but it was about to die, so I just got a photo and landed it back to the truck and charged it. But, I didn't really fly the drone at all at the chase. This is just basically the camcorder, and I hope at some point that there will be more drone footage videos of the Great Lakes Central, but at this point, there won't be any more drone videos of the Great Lakes Central.
Well, now they are departing, and now they're off to Claire, Michigan. I would be doing a really good chase today, and so far, it's a really good one. This is Marion, Michigan. I would only get it for a bit and then went back on a road because this one crossing I really wanted to hit and I did anyway. But now we're in Marion and it's basically a pretty good start. This is our second catch with the Claire 1 CSDN. But now we're about to cut off here. It Marion, so we can get to our next spot. Now we're at the next spot. This is M61. The road crossing here is very cool. I have always wanted to get a good spot here at this crossing, but I never knew this is a good one. And at the time, I always just wanted to skip through this crossing. But now, it's like, very, very good. So I think I choose the right location for this. The Great Lakes Central was flying after Marion and McBay. They're hauling it today. They're very well going fast. I've seen a video in like 2018, they weren't going that fast, and this time, oh boy, they were going fast. Okay. Now we're in Lake George, Michigan. As soon as I was getting the video camera, these guys were like, <laughs> couldn't understand them. But I was getting waiting for this train to come around the corner. This is a really good spot. I saw this one on a video as well. Back in 2021. I figured this is a really good spot. And I did get a good picture. Now we're at Claire, Michigan. Well, the one unit is being led on this yard job here in Claire. 383 is doing some switching here at Claire, while switching the grain industry.
there's the power. 385 and 386 would end up being the new power of the Cadillac crew. The Cadillac crew were ending up getting those locomotives all started up. They were shut down because 383 was in the lead of those units. Now, 386 and 385 is now going to be the new power for Cadillac crew. And going up to Cadillac as well. While 383 and 396 and 395, those power would end up going back to Owasso, Michigan. But let's just keep getting them switching. As soon as I was thinking about it, now this is the new power. As I said it earlier, this is very, very cool. Because 385 is the X and Arbor Railroad, well, all the 390 and 391 and 392, and now 385, those are X and Arbor Railroad. But back in 2022, this unit would end up being back in service in 2022 of March, of late March. And it had a really good horn, like an X, like an Ann Arbor horn. Now it just has a normal Great Lakes Central horn, like all the other does. But 386 has the P5 on this one. Alrighty, this will be the last catch of the Great Lakes Central this summer of 2023. And this is the Great Lakes Central. 383 is leading this NS Grain Train up towards Oakley, Michigan. Now, he is long run forward. I thought he was like, the engine was flipped, but I guess not. He's long run forward. Which, uh, not great, but it's at all right. At least we're seeing Great Lake Central. So, yeah. Has the P5, as I heard the P5, I'm thinking to myself, is it heading from the north? Heading south? And I'm thinking, once I heard that horn, oh, it's heading back north. There's my buddy George. Me and buddy George came up here just to do whatever. With my senior pictures, whatever, I'm not gonna say that, but he, he, after we get done with that, we were coming back home and we decided uh, we were gonna get the train train on that Great Lake Central. Well, that was a very wise decision. It ended up being a good one. Because this will be the last time I will see Great Lake Central for the rest of the summer.
Well, this is the very last train of the summer of the Great Lakes Central. Thank you very much for watching, but this is the last time of the Michigan or State for the Great Lakes Central. But until next time, I'll either see you guys in the Michigan or State, or either the Buckeye State Well, which I always go to because well traffic goes better in the Buckeye State Well. Better. Less than Michigan or State. Michigan or State does not get much trains in Michigan. Ohio does. I'll see you guys later. And I'll see you in Michigan or State or Buckeye State Wells.